Hey everybody, Chris the Copper. Welcome back. Thanks for watching and definitely thank you for all your support. All right, I'm like, hey, this is my channel. So if I want to do Detroit Become Human two weeks in a row, I can. And that's what we're going to do. But before we get that started, don't forget to leave a like and definitely leave a comment. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. All right, so we're going to continue this saga as I am just so intrigued by it. And your comments even have me more like, what is going to happen next? Because so many of you are so excited to see me play this game. And I cannot even believe that this game it wasn't on my radar because it just has captivated me since I started playing it. So we are going to play another week's worth of Detroit Become Human. So keep those comments coming. Don't forget those likes. And let's see uh, what happens next. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Chris the Cop. I'm a real police officer, not ex, not retired, playing video games and talking all stuff nerd. If you like this video as well as other content on this channel, you're going to definitely want to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon for instant notification. Don't forget, we're also on Twitch at Chris the Cop 1. I will be live streaming there very shortly uh, throughout the weeks as I'm going to be using Twitch for more live stream random gameplay and then YouTube for my regular content that many of you have come to like. We have channel membership on both Twitch and YouTube. If you can support the channel that way, we definitely love it. But we always want thumbs up and comments as it helps the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget, we have a merch store. And then down below are the links to all my socials, various different affiliate programs. So you're going to definitely want to use those discount codes as well as links to get that stuff that you may want. All right, enough of that business junk. Let's see what the next... Or let's see the plight of our androids. Oh, let's see what happens. Red. Okay. Fetch compared to a left leg.
Uh oh, incompatible. Escape the junkyard. Wow. Is this Carl's android? Oh, this is sad. I was hoping he got away. Oh. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho! Find Jericho! Okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh. They're all still alive. Wow. Where are you going? Oh. Wow. They're all just walking around or wandering around. God, I bet you there's so much that you might miss. I can only imagine how my oh there we go see Okay, we gotta replace damaged parts. So we ain't doing that. What do you got here? Okay, cool. Come on, get yours in. Get a new one.
Okay, got our audio going. It is him. Oh, he didn't get away. Ooh, what's that? Yeah, that's weird. How appropriate. The Angel Michael. Okay, that's the way out, but we need to get our... Okay, gotta still find that eye option. think that uh, they would recycle these. Looks like they feel pain now. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna take one last look here, guys. Come on. 
do it. Come on, you got it. Let's do this. The music is so epic. This is so cool, guys. Oh, I can't wait to see what I missed. Okay, let's take a quick look. So, Android begs to die. Okay, you probably can decide not to do something okay so that's kind of cool so i actually i think i went in the, the place i want to go so on the replay i'll probably have to do something different there um wow okay well i'm going to go ahead and pause play another story and can possibly combine the two together so Find Amanda. Mark Connor died at 1554 Parks Avenue, Detroit, August 15th, 2038. Okay. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed 
challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Exactly. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I think uh, adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You are the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. Hmm. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Uh oh. Hmm. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Interesting to see the geopolitics going on in the screen. You might be in shock. Just, just take it easy. Yeah. Look at that. in the Arctic have reached a new level. There you go. A Russian carrier yes. and an American patrol boat reported to have arrived last night. I'm getting nervous now. It's okay. It's okay. Just relax. Don't worry. It's all over so quickly. The countries in the region, oh, particularly space. Sweden and Canada, have called for military forces to withdraw and an international conference to be held. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you informed minute by minute as the situation develops. Lieutenant Anderson. Well, I would imagine he should have an office. There it is. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. <laughs> I like this Lieutenant Anderson. St. Bernard. Oh. This 
See? Good hard charger cop. Just enfranchised by 20 years, 30 years of being a cop. The good old donuts. More than 50 arrests throughout the country, Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic. With a number of high-profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized with a street value of $500,000, Detective Hank Anderson, not Lieutenant Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as modern investigation police work. Becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit Police Force, Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated detectives in DPD's recent history, securing a number of high-profile arrests and serving as an integral part of the force. Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly to the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as a future commissioner. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Department. So what happened? There he is. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my, in my office. office. The typical police captain, I'm gonna yell at Hank. I've got ten new cases involving Anglo Jones every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. <laughs> Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. <laughs> you are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel. <laughs> this conversation is over. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Ugh. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. Have a nice day, Captain. Interesting. That place is nice.
What are you looking at? Hey, fuck you. She didn't say he was going to do anything. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. They're going to destroy me. Hmm. My objective was to capture you alive. What happens now is not my problem. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. Do you know any other deviants? Are there many of you? Hmm, I want to definitely replay this one. There was something more there. Open the cell, quick! Hurry! Cyber life. Clean this mess up. Definitely could have played that one differently. Dang it. Hmm. Listen, I know you don't like me, but we're going to have to work together. We'll both have to make an effort. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Uh, I want to press the part. I'm going to press now the partners. Partners, it would be great Here we to go. Know each other better. <laughs> Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Talk about his hate of androids. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. <laughs> Everyone likes to talk about their dogs. Cool. Let's... Okay. 
So let's not do two, two personal things in a row because that'll just ruin it the moment. Let's talk about Fowler. Let's let him vent a little bit. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. Gotta let him vent a little bit. Got some positive, now we need to let him go. Oh, that was it, okay. I don't wanna throw basketball in there yet. But he's, he's a fan, but it's not gonna, to me, not gonna be enough. Let's see what hours, I don't know what hours means. Let's see what hours. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office this time? <laughs> Ooh. I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? I don't know if I, okay, do I leave the basketball? All right, I'm gonna throw a basketball. I wouldn't do this. This is not what I would do. I'm just gonna throw it out there. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? No. That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. The terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. See? Basketball. See? I was right. The plaintiff reports that he left his Android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the, when he returned, the Android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a breaking department. Android may have left the home without being ordered. Suspect: The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by a AV500 model Android working as a waiter at the fast cleaning restaurant chain. The plaintiff claims Android lunged at him, unexpectedly attempted to strangle this man before leaving the scene. The Android remains at large. Another suspect. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Missing. Okay, let's scan. Oh. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and... Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Ugh. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, yes. asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in the dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Yeah, I... I definitely wish I would have played that one a lot differently. Ah, uh, well, I like to see how that goes. Let's say, let's take a look here. Ah, uh, so many choices. See right there. Android saved in the interrogation. Explore the station. Something happened there. Where's one more place? Uh, yeah, could have done something a little different there. Wait for Hank. So there are a couple choices there. Okay, we're all good there. Okay, so Hank was supposed to get mad, but something would have done differently to get us a different ending. Ah, something there too in the Zen Garden. Ah, okay. It's so frustrating because you're like, fuck, 
Yeah, because you know your choices like send you this rabbit hole, this rabbit hole, or that rabbit hole. It's like, ah, loving that police station. That police station is epic. Love the uniforms and just kind of wondering like during, you know, as a police officer, I wonder what is policing going to look like, you know, in this time frame. I mean, I don't know about Android, but then again, Elon Musk did get a new, uh, I guess a, there's a, they made a new robot and it's called Robot for Now that can do your shopping and stuff for you. I don't know if you guys have heard about that. So, but you know, technology is changing how the, our equipment and policing and so forth. So I'm kind of interested in how another 10 years law enforcement is going to evolve. All right. I don't know. Maybe one more episode for this one. All right, let's see. Where are we at now? Oh, we're back to Kara. So we got Marcus, Connor, and Kara. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare? No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. You must be starving. You should take a bath, and then we'll go out and find you something to eat. What do you say? Okay, I'll run you a bath. Scissors. Oh, that maybe she cut her blue thing off. Do they normally put scissors in hotel rooms? Ooh, nice. Now let's get rid of that little blue thing. Ooh, I like white. Yeah. Ooh, Android Zoo. Still Android free. Okay, interesting. Oh. 
Boston Marathon. The victim's name was Todd Williams, Ooh. an unemployed man from Corktown. According to initial reports, he was shot by his android, an AX-400. The android fled the scene, and a police search is now in progress. Uh -oh. Live for Channel 16 News, I'm Josh Douglas. Someone made a comment that I didn't need to you kill had Todd. No choice. He nice. Have killed me if you hadn't stopped him. See? What are we going to do? We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. Do you have any family? Anyone who could help us? No. It was just dad. We can't stay here. We don't have any money. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. We can't change the past, Alice, but we can decide the future. We're gonna pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Finish getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't think androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Ah! if I go with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. Ugh. No locks on the doors? It's gone.
Hey, wait a minute. Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. Dang it. I'm torn. Go, Kara, go! I don't want to catch you, but I have to. It's part of the game. Don't shoot! We need it alive! Oh! Oh. Hey, where are you going? I can't let them get away. They won't. And never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Hey, you will get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. I screwed up. One button and I screwed up. Dang it. She should be able to flip them off. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see this one. Okay, obviously there's another ending. That path. Okay, so right from there, she's meant to run. And he disobeys. Okay, so that takes us down another... I could switch there. This is where I screwed up. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Hotel, Hank checks motel room and there is another option there. And then they're on the street. Okay, but that option takes us down a whole other path. Wow. What is this? Oh. Interesting. But anyways. See, I could have done all the other ones and unlocked all those. Okay, I, I unlocked the hair. We're going fine there. Fine. Then that's our first choice. And that choice is could have led us all to the same place, it looks like. But what is that? Oh my, oh my gosh. So much to do here. Run towards the last known position. Was there any chance of them getting to the train station? And this was just supposed to happen? So three different possibilities. Wow. Okay. All right. So I think this episode is going to be about an hour. So I do apologize to you for those of you that like the 20 to 30 minutes or even 40 minutes. But I think it's really important to keep Marcus, Kara, and Connor's story together. Like the three stories. It seems like it seems like there's a three-story arc for each 
session and I like that. So it's like just play all three storylines, then make a new video. All three storylines, then make a new video. I could be wrong, but so far it's been that way. And I wish I would have started it that way when I first uh, started playing uh, about a week ago. But ah, it's so like, ah, I don't want to stop, but I got to do a couple of things. But here's your next episode for theme week. Detroit Dead by Daylight, Detroit Dead by Daylight, Detroit Become Human um, for two weeks in a row of Detroit Become Human theme week, right? What the heck? Let's just do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take care of yourself. Take care of one another. We will get through COVID-19 together, but until then, Grogu and I will be sitting here in anticipation of another Detroit Become Human uh, video, and uh, it's pretty exciting. All right, don't forget, we can make the world a better place. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just a, a thought came to my mind. Anyways, I'll, next video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take care of yourself. Take care of one another. We can make the world a better place by just helping one person at a time. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris the Copper Mining, all of you. Peace. How do you guys like my scruffiness, by the way? You guys digging the new uh, scruffy beard look? <laughs>